one thing i can say about this image is that this image is super 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 sharp like it's sharp <laughs> uh i was using the sony a7 III for this photo shoot i was shooting with the godox um v1s flash and i was shooting one to one that was the power and as you can see here my iso was 100 i was shooting at 2.8 and 1000 for the shutter speed all right so i did a behind the scene for this uh photo shoot um, you can check the card up here for that behind the scenes if you have not um, seen it i was actually using the gopro it was on my chest so you were actually seeing my um point of view so let's get right to the editing real quick so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a duplicate and then I'm just going to remove the blemishes from the model skin. So I'm going to press J for the patch tool. And all I'm doing is just click, well, make a selection for the blemish and just move it um, to another section. You do have the option of using uh, one of these other uh, tools to remove spots. You can use a healing brush, you can use the um, spot healing brush, but I rather using the patch tool that works better for me so all i'm doing is just to remove the blemishes from the skin and i think that is it so far okay what i'm going to do also is to remove the lines from the model's neck so i do that you don't want to go too far away from the lines that you're trying to remove because trust me it will show it will look unrealistic and you don't want it to look that way so you want to just take your time and just move it a little bit away from the line that's all you want to do and again you can use any other tool that removes these things I rather using the patch tool it works better for me I mean any one of these tools I can use them but you have to use a tool that works better for you this is why Photoshop provides different um, tools you know um, but sometimes different tools do different things so yeah it's all about the user though trust me all right so let's look at the before and after for that so far so before and after I'm gonna do the same thing for this one as well Just gonna zoom out a bit and I'm gonna do this one as well let me see all right like that so what you guys should understand is that retouching is not just smoothing out the skin it's all about removing some little stuff um from the subject to make the image look look better all right so this is not perfect but we're gonna do some frequent separation that will actually fix that do you remember sometimes i tell you guys not to mix the dark area with the light area in this case you can for right here so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But before that, let me just remove the other blemishes from the skin. Uh, I don't see anything over this side. I'm using a, a, a tablet. It's called X-Pen. Well, XP-Pen. It's for about $70 on Amazon. You can check it out. But if you have the money to buy the Wacom tablet, I mean, buy it. Sometimes I think I should maybe buy it, but it's too expensive. I don't want to spend so much money. I'd rather buy a lens or a camera. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go down to the model's leg. Let's see if... I 
I can remove anything. Okay, there's nothing here much to remove. All right, so I'm gonna go back here. I want to fix this right here. So I'm going to create a new layer. And what I might do is to just copy. I'm going to copy from this one. I'm just going to make a selection like uh, I'm still on the patch tool. Let's make this selection right here. Uh, press the move tool by using the space bar. I'm going to zoom up again. Uh, I want to make sure that I get everything in line. Okay, so I'm going to copy Control c to copy Control v to paste and then i'm going to come over here to the move tool i'm just going to move it down here like that and then i'm going to come down here to the mask tool and press the mask um you know what i'm just going to do alt mask and then i'm just going to paint in the air that i want so brush Press B on the keyboard for the brush. I'm at 100% for the flow, 100% for the opacity. I'm just going to brush in right here. Like that. That's it. Maybe I could, let me try something here. Yeah, I could just do that. Yeah. You won't even know that. Um, I'm going to press X. X is, it changes the foreground. So if you're going to paint on black, it will reveal what is behind. And if you... Um, paint on white it will put back or put what is on the front <laughs> yeah so what I'm doing I'm just gonna I'm just cleaning up the uh, adjustment here a little bit all right so that works so you would never know that I did that trust me so these little things are what you want to do to fix um, you know these things here I think I want to do it here as well This time I'm going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to make a selection from here. Control C, Control V. Oh wait, what's happening here? I need to select it from this one. Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to press V for the move tool. Move it up to the top right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold on an alt and then click the mask tool. I'm going to press B for the brush and I'm just going to paint in. Oh, you have to ensure that the foreground is white when you're painting on black to reveal what's behind it. Oops. Okay, what did I just do? Uh, not sure what just happened. I think I have to do it again. I, I did something just now and it went away. So I'm going to, let me create a new layer again. And then I'm going to go back to the lasso tool. Just press L. And then I'm going to make a selection for, which one? This one. I don't remember if that, that was the one I made a selection for. And then Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And then I'm just going to move it up, press V for the move tool, put it right there. And then I'm going to Alt, uh, clone, Alt and then mask, ensure that I'm painting on white. And then I'm going to press B for the brush and paint it right here. So that's it. That's it. I don't think I need to do anything more because no one is going to zoom up and say, hey, something is missing from here. Um, let me just try to clean it up a little bit more. All right, that's it. Don't think I need to do anything else. That is it. All right, so the next thing now is to work on the model's skin. So this is my favorite part, the frequent separation portion <laughs> all right so i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh create a new layer control shift alt e and then i'm gonna come here to frequent separation you can check the link in the description for the frequent separation action absolutely free i'm gonna do radius um, 6.4 i always do radius 6.4 but if you go to radius 10 
um, it will retain more of the uh, natural look of the model's skin. All right, so I'm going to start at the top, go right down to the bottom. All right, so I'm going to press M on the keyboard for my mixer brush. That is my shortcut for the mixer brush. Your mixer brush is going to be under brushes. If you hold on on brushes, you'll see the mixer brush. I took mine out because I want to access it real fast. And uh, if, it's your, if it's your first time using the, um, what do you call this again? The mixer brush. Once you select the mixer brush, there's going to be a color right here. You can come here to clear it right like that, that that or you can just click on this well you have to click this as well your wet should be at two percent everything else remains the same and do not click sample all layers so i'm just gonna so the use of this tool is to basically blend the skin and what you want to do is to go down to the low layer and then you want to do this so all you're doing is blending the skin And you want to do it in the same direction where the makeup was up, was actually applied. This is why sometimes it's good to watch your makeup artist to see how they apply the makeup so you'll know exactly how to edit. And it's the same principle though. If, if you're, well, I'm not sure if, well, if you've been watching my videos, what you want to do is to uh, mix the dark area and the light area separate. That's basically what you want to do and everything comes together so all I'm doing is just mixing the light area and the dark area and I'm just doing it in the same way how the makeup was applied so let's look at it before and after for that before and after good all right so for the neck this section here there's two ways you can actually uh, blend the neck out if you realize right here is dark and right here is light dark and light so what you could do this uh, layer right here that says color correction you can actually do this by uh, you can press uh, B on the keyboard for the brush lower your opacity to about 3% and then you can zoom up and hold on an alt to make a selection for the light area let's say you want to get this lighter so you're just gonna select the area and then you're gonna paint And then look at the before and after real quick and easy um, I do not want to use that so I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna use the frequent separation right so I'm gonna come well I'm on the low late you know what let me not confuse you guys I'm just going to go back like that good then I'm just gonna make wait let me go back some more to the mixer brush good all right so the low layer uh, mix a brush and all I'm gonna do is to just go up and down to blend it out so I think this looks better than what I had before but if you take your time you can do it just the same but the mixer brush is faster so before and after good Alright, so right under here is a little bit dark because of the sh um, where the light is coming. Well, there's one. No light was actually coming under the chin, so you're gonna have it a little bit dark. So, what we could do, we could do the same trick. Just select right there. Get the brush, select. Uh, my flow is at 3%, and then I could just brush under here. Just light it up a little bit, basically. that's it don't think i need to do anything more to that section all right so i'm going to go back down to the low layer on the freaking separation i'm going to press m on the keyboard for the mixer brush remember my mixer brush that's my shocker for my mixer brush and i'm just gonna um do the chest so all i'm doing is just blend blending the skin So all I'm doing, blending. And I'm following the same order where I do the light area, the dark area. 
and that's the beauty of that's the, that's the technique that you need to follow to get really good at retouching so let's look at the before and after for the sections the before and after good come down here do the same thing all right I'm done with there I'm gonna come down to the thigh and do the same thing again good so I am done and if you notice I'm rushing <laughs> I don't want the video to be too long, trust me. So I'm just trying to um, um, edit as fast as possible. All right, so that is it for the frequent separation. So let's look at the before and after for everything. So before and after, good. So the next step now, I'm going to sort of lighten up the image a little bit. Like down here is dark. So I'm going to use the uh, curves layer and I'm just going to bring up the Okay, something is not right here. Um, hmm. Something is selected somewhere. Why it's not doing the curve? Let me see. Control D to deselect just to make sure that nothing is there. I'm going to do the curves again. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening. All right, for some reason curves is not working and I'm not sure why so I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna come here to camera raw I'm gonna press auto I always press auto it lights up the image and then I'm going to use the wait I think there's a curve somewhere in here uh, let me see I think it's Where is the curve? There is a curve somewhere. I think it's here. All right, good. So I'm going to light up the shadows. You know what? No, <laughs> I'm not going to use this one. This one is not for the... Uh, this one doesn't work like how I would want it to. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do the color. I'm just going to do the color um, grading right now. So I'm going to come over here to the collaboration and I'm just going to bring up the skin tone a little bit by adjusting the blue. And then I'm gonna come back over. I'm gonna come here to the HSL option and it's gonna play with the background color, the yellow. Alright, so it's gonna change the yellow of her dress. It's gonna warm it up a little bit. I'm just gonna play with the blue in the background and the green. Alright, I like that green right there and right over here. Let me do a before and after so you guys can see. Um, the orange is what's gonna play with the skin tone. All right, good. Don't think I need think. I don't think I need to do anything else. Uh, uh, anything else here? I'm just gonna do the what's this? Um, D haze. All right, so the D haze is going to do this entire image. I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna press OK, and then I'm gonna Control J to create a duplicate, and then I'm gonna go back to Camera Raw again, and then I'm gonna go to D haze. Because I just want here to have the DAs. And then I'm just going to press OK. Then, uh, I'm not seeing where the DAs was applied. Oh, wait. I was actually working on a layer that was below the freaking separation. That's the reason why I wasn't seeing the, um, the what do you call this again? The curves. Yeah, so I need to move this to the top. So, so that means whatever adjustment I made will not show. <laughs> Alright, so I have to delete that and I have to create a new layer. So I'm going to create a new layer. Control Alt E. And then I have to do the coloring again. Uh, because the layer was hidden. So I'm just going to basically do what I just did. Uh, again, real quick come over here to the basic no HSL I'm gonna play with the yellow a little bit in the dress and the orange for the skin tone and then the blue a little bit then the green yeah that is it okay and then I'm gonna create a new layer again then I'm gonna go back to 
camera raw did i press auto i didn't press auto <laughs> i'm gonna delete this one i'm gonna go back in there and press auto again then okay uh, this is too bright though let me undo that go back in there again i'm gonna press auto but i'm just gonna adjust the shadows a little bit and the exposure to about that good then i'm gonna go back in again i'm gonna create a new layer Control alt a for the camera raw and then i'm gonna play with the dehaze because i want to get the sky back in and then i'm gonna press ok good then i'm gonna hold on on control well alt and then click the mask tool and then i'm gonna go to the brush hope i'm not going too fast but i think i'm going fast but yeah and then I'm gonna get my opacity and also the flow to 100%. And I'm just gonna paint the. Okay, my brush is too small. All right, good. So I'm gonna paint in the area that I want. What's happening here? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna paint in the area that I want. For some reason it's not oh you know guys I don't even know what I'm doing I need to undo everything cuz I'm on the mixer brush I shouldn't be on the mixer brush I should be on the brush oh my all right so I'm gonna get my brush bigger and painting I need to ensure that my foreground is white when I'm painting on black I'm just painting what I need perfect sorry guys for all these errors <laughs> but that's what it's like sometime when I'm editing trust me all right so that is it I don't think I need to do anything else here before after and then I'm gonna apply what's happening over here okay I'm gonna apply the blue in the shadows I always do that and then I'm gonna apply the color lookup and then lower the opacity right there so that is it for the image I don't think I need to do anything more other than create a new layer and then I'm gonna crop the image so 4 to 5 ratio go to the crop tool 4 to 5 ratio if you want to upload this to Instagram and then right there is where I want it actually I want to put it here yeah I think I like this let me just pull this in a little bit more this a little bit more right there Pull this over enter yeah that is it that is it I didn't do any dodge and burning because I don't see the need to do it um, yeah well you know what let me try it let me try so I'm gonna do burn let me go to the brush my flow is gonna be at 1% I'm gonna apply some burn And then I'm going to apply some dodge. I never, I don't necessarily have to, but you could if you want. So that is it for the image. I don't think I need to do anything more. So let's look at the before and after again. So before and after. Before and after. I didn't really have to do the curve for here anymore but I could still do the curve let me just do the curve right now I don't think it's a need I'm just gonna click right here and then control I actually it's not that's not control that was alt control I to invert press B for the brush 1% uh, for the flow I'm just gonna do 4% for the flow and then I'm just gonna just brush right here and then before and after before and after good so thank you guys for watching and i hope you learned something from this video um give me a thumbs up share and like and ensure that you're subscribed if you're not subscribed and turn on notification bell for another video
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.